What's up guys, uh, back with another video. Starting off with uh, first game against Northampton. We're currently 15th in the league. Just looking to hold on to our top spot. Keep McGinnis as number one scorer. And we're gonna keep the lineup as is for now. And we're gonna jump straight into it. Sorry if there's a little background noise as well. We put our air conditioners in today and it's been a little, a little loud. I'm Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box as always by Lee Dixon. And we're ready to bring you live coverage of this League One fixture. It's Hull City and they face Northampton Town. Thank you, Derek. Just flicking through my notes for this one. Everything points into a really lively matchup. This is fingers crossed, eh? and have put out in the league statistically. Yes, Derek, in front of goal, they seem to be faultless. Superb creative Got elements. Got a little down the way. The chances, and they don't waste too many, do they? Clinical. Oh, good move. Steps inside. He's blocked. McGinnis. Let's go, McGinnis. That is a very bright start. Perfect way to Go to the camera, son. Nah, not quite, but good goal. Way to start the match. Play, Jerry, and defenders must defend. They have plenty of time and opportunity to clear this. Solid ball, finish. Really Keeper can't react here. in time. And that's McGinnis' seventh goal of the season. 1 0 then. Might be able to produce from this position. Real danger. It's there for him. Oh, Ingram, that's poor keeping. The keeper's not going to want to see the replay of this. Completely caught out at his near post. Shot. He's driven in the corner. Clear that. Well, not the best clearance. It might be on for them. And the cross goes in. Wasn't that a header, Emmanuel? An effective there clearance. Go. And that's going to be half time. One one at halftime, not too bad. Looking for at least another goal in the second half, possibly the two. Are ready to have a go at each other again. At the pressure on in the form of another corner, and firing it. Oh, into Greaves! The area. Just too close Easily to the saved by the, the keeper. Yeah, poor technique really, and the goalkeeper's not troubled. And the header. Apologies for interrupting Alan McAnally. To confirm, the visitors did find the net in that game, and their lead stands at three-one. He's got to be offside, ref. He's got to be offside. He's not? What? I want to see this replay. Oh, Clark played him on, Clark. Got to step up. Over to Aguadelo. Back into McGinnis. Wilkes. Right. Manuel. Cross across to Lewis Potter. Oh, it's snuck in. It's an own goal. Lewis Potter didn't even get ahead to it. I want to see this again. Great ball in. Oh, the defender went to clear it away and it went right past the keeper. Wow. We'll take it. It's 2 2. Got 10 minutes to find a winner now. Honeyman. There's Aguadello. Back to Honeyman. Oh, what a goal from Honeyman! Holy shit! What a finish! Bar down! Mother of Christ! Keeper's got no chance at that one. Bar down into the well, side netting. What in the hell? I mean, we're going to take that. That was a well great finish. Four goals in the league well, for Honeyman now. The end, and, that might and we've well got the lead. I'm going to keep the pressure on and hope to find one more. To go. If we can find one more, then it'll surely seal it up. 
well. Just listen to the atmosphere. Good tackle. Get it away. Aguadello, McGinnis, Lewis Potter. Pass. And space for them here on the flank. This should Easy. do it. Hold it in the corner. Clark. Edge of the box to Slater. Aguadello. Manuel. Interception to snuff out the danger. Corner. Having been awarded the corner, they'll no doubt look Seven good. minutes in Adam added time now. Oh, Honeyman. It's, it's going to be a one more corner. Regardless of whether or not we score, this should be it. Wilkes. That's got to be it. Blow your whistle, ref. And that's it. Eight minutes of added time later. Big win. Alright, next game is against Stevenage in the Cup. We're going to play a single striker today. Purely because we got a lot of tired players. Uh, so we are going to play Scott. Wilkes is going to start this game. Center mids will stay the same. Um, we are going to play... Bello instead of Clark, McLaughlin instead of uh, Greaves. Alvarez will replace Crowley on the bench. And we're going to have Drew replace Lewis Potter. And then we're going to have Eves replace Aguadello on the bench. Anything else we need to change? We'll have Smith on the bench. And Emmanuel requested a rest, and we were going to give him one anyway, so we will rest him. Honeyman, we will also have on the bench, and we will have Slater start for him. And then Honeyman... Honeyman can stay. Do we want him on the bench? I don't think so. I think we're going to have to put Jones on the bench. You know what? We're going to keep him on the bench. We're just going to take White off. We'll keep Alvarez on if we need to. Actually, we'll keep White on the bench. Leave Alvarez in the reserves. All right. Let's go. Get into it. Joining me here on the commentary box is Lee Dixon. And live All right. Coming up from the Kick off. Cup. It's Hull City, and they take on. You're going very attacking well, right, from the, uh, right from the right from the off. Favorites. Complacency can be a problem. You've got. To, they need to just be a little He's going to play inside to Slater. Back to Drew. Drew's holding it up well. Plays it to Scott. Couldn't away. fight. Find him. Well, that's in the remit of any referee to stop uh -oh. play. It's what he's Doc, going to he's do. Doc, down injured. That's not good. Attention. He's going to need a sub early, too. Oh, jeez. That's not good. All right, good thing I put Jones on the bench because he's now going to come on. And back in business again with a drop ball. Inside, Scott. And they uh, deal with the cleared away. Time. We're going to try and get it back and get one more attack before halftime. Well, They're just going to clear it away, and it's halftime. Nil-nil. We've definitely had the charges. better run of play. Keeper, their keeper has been doing a great job for them. All right, second half. Here we go. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Still need a goal here. Well, they no longer have the ball. Oh, good pressure. Win the header. Wilkes. Back over to Scott. Drew is miles offside, so... Not even mad that that pass didn't get through. Because it would have been called back anyway. 
it's an accurate cross. Win the header. Nicely done. Oh, goodness. Well blocked, but he must clear it away. Good job, defense. One more. Nope. He's onside, ref. Are you serious? Oh, my God. That's unlucky. I could have sworn he was offside. It was close. Can't tell from that angle, but it was definitely a close call. We need a goal. Desperately. Good header. Couldn't quite get up there. Good pressure from Coyle. They just sit back, Coyle wins it back. On the break and it's really working for this team. Real there chance. goes Wilkes. Can he finish? And a goal. Oh yes, Wilkes. Great All shot. Even. Top corner. And we're level. Well, here it is again, and all the credit goes to the goal scorer. But you have to ask questions about the keeper. He's gotta have that covered for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. Keeper could have saved that to be fair, but shot was a bit too powerful. Got up there quicker than the keeper expected. And we will take and the goal. The and we also pulled Bello the off, and goal. Elder will come on to replace him. Back to McLaughlin. Burke. Back. Smallwood. Scott. Honeyman. Fresh legs. On. Fresh legs. Can they keep it going? And a good finish. And the substitution proves huge as Honeyman gives us the lead late on. Well, I do just love goals like this on the breakaway. They soak up great finish, tucked it inside the bottom left corner. To break into the positions when you get the ball and hit. And that's the second goal of the competition. And it's a clinical finish at the end. Into stoppage time now. Can the boys hold on? Need to win that header, and they do. in control of the situation. Steven is looking for a counter attack. And a good looking ball. A really good ball in. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Great block from Gree from Burke. The final and that's the win. Carabao Cup progression. Hull City on to the next round. All right, guys, final game of the episode today is going to be against Charlton Athletic in the league. Looking for another big win, hopefully. Uh, the injury to Doherty was not ideal because he is now going to be out for two months, which does not help us in the slightest. But on the right side, the rest of the squad is healthy, with the exception of a couple of our center backs that are a little bit tired. A couple of players in general are a little bit tired, but we press on, and we are here looking for another win today. We have Wilkes and Drew arrest. Put on Alvarez and White. Slater can come up for Olesanya. It's not going to make a difference. And we'll put Fleming on the bench today. All right, that looks good enough. Here we go. Enjoy the game. And now All right, the here we go. Rolling. Final game of the episode. Looking to start it off pretty well. Ball finds McGinnis. He's looking for Lewis Potter. And he read it well. Finds the defender. Pressure stays on. But we lose it anyway. Now we will have to defend. Oh, falls right to Lewis Potter. Well, Lee focusing on the hosts and he finds Aguadello. We expect? Well, getting everybody behind the ball. I'm not too sure that that Flores. When you're playing at home. The Lewis Potter. See this is a Clark. I do for sure. Aguadello in the middle. And, and it's in. 1-0. No 15, 15 minutes. And it's 1-0. Oh, it wasn't even Aguadello, it was McGinnis. McGinnis found his way to the far post and dinked it in with a header. Top scorer in the league, scores again, well, finds his eighth of the year the in the, the EFL League One. Well. 
possession with the ball, leaving the goalkeeper absolutely no chance. Fantastic goal. Very tight win, though, but he squeezes it in anyway. Defender nearly got to it, went right underneath the keeper, and it will go in for his eighth goal of the season. Flores can't get to that one. And fed forwards. Now the task is to remain focused. And How has that gone in? How has that gone in? Magnificent game unfolding. Ingram has had an absolute well, stinker the there. A lovely through ball to set up the chance, and he composes himself coolly. Oh my goodness gracious! Keeper, who will be asking questions about where he's? Over to Aguadello, out to Crowley on the wing. Whips the ball, but it's blocked out for a corner. In. Greaves. Cleared away. Smith. The center back scores with a finesse shot off the corner. And it's 2-1. Back in front. Hull City. Well, here's the replay. And there'll be a few accusing glances after that clearance. Giving away the ball there is criminal. Keeper's got no chance there. Quite honestly, you get punished. First touch. For Smith there and it goes right into the back of the net Andy Smith so first goal of the season out to Emmanuel over to Crowley Crowley finds well, Aguadello Honeyman McGinnis there he goes we get a shot oh just wide that was a golden opportunity When the header, good header, over to Honeyman, Aguadillo, McGinnis, McGinnis fake shot, slots away his second goal, and that's nine in the league this year. Great ball from Aguadillo, good fake shot, uses his weak foot and slots it low just past the keeper. Keeper can't quite get his foot to it, and it's two to one, or three to one. Sorry. Four goals in this match now. Three one it is. Exciting first half from Hull City. Did concede one kind of crappy goal, but we still have a two goal lead. Morgan. Just the Good tackle. Lewis Potter finds it. Over to Flores. Can't get quite get through. Charlton have it back. Takes aim. And Ingram has another stinker. Irons 3-2. Well, they're back in it, Derek. I don't know what? how it has been shocking, but you look at oh, the scoreline. Poor defending. Who knows poor keeping. And half. we can see it the second corner. time in this first half. Three, two it is. Who would have predicted that see if we can get one back quickly. Without the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. There we go, McGinnis. Looking for his hat trick. Oh, he finds it! In stoppage time in the first half, and it's 4 2. Great goal from McGinnis. Well, Derek, he can relax now. He's got the hat trick. Fully deserved. Great finish. Keeper's got no chances. It goes in off the post. Low and to the left. And he finds his 10th of the year and a hat trick in this first half. And it's half time. 4 to 2. We maintain the two goal lead despite two terribly bad goals. But three goals from McGinnis finds us with a 4 to 2 lead at half time. Second half here. Based on what we've seen so far, as the Looking to hold on begins. to the lead. And possibly add to it. Honeyman. Smith. Greaves. Well, Derek, if you don't close down, you don't work hard without the ball, you don't put a shift in, you end up with a performance and an atmosphere like this. Oh, there we go. Honeyman's through. Honeyman slots it near post, and it's five. 
captain scores after some great passing to start the second half. And our three goal lead is back. Well, here's the replay, and as we see, it's a class ball through to split the defense. But you do have to ask questions about the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't keep getting beat at the near post line. Five goals in the league now for Honeyman. The ball rolling again, and what has been an utterly weak ten minutes remaining here. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. It just needs to remain icy cool. Yeah. And there it is, a goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage? What did the I say? They haven't been at the best. We did concede one more, but well, we, we are again now, and it really is still a two goals up. To defend against over the top and into space. But as good as the move is, the goalkeeper has had an absolute shocker. Being at his near post, terrible. Clark. Seven men. Eves, McGinnis, back to Eves, cross goal, and he scores, and it's six. And then I'll seal it. If it wasn't already over, it is now. Great finish from Eves. I don't usually like him, but. That's a fantastic finish, and Keeper had absolutely no chances that finds the side netting. McGinnis, Eves, Charlton went back. Deep into stoppage time now. And there's the final whistle. 6-3, very high scoring game, lots of goals. McGinnis had his first half hat trick, and that proved to be the difference. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, lots of goals, three wins for us. Lots of, lots and lots of goals. McGinnis had a great episode, hat trick in the final game. He's currently leading the league by three goals, and and he's missed some time, I believe. He's played two less matches than everyone else, and still has more goals than he has matches played. Uh, Honeyman's leading the league in assists, followed closely by Aguadello, who's only been at the club for, I don't know how many games now, but he's only played four. Clean sheets, obviously not we can see, like, the amount of skips a lot of people get with rocks, it's ridiculous, but regardless, we're still top of the league, leading by four points. Our next game will be a huge one against Portsmouth, who are currently sitting in fourth place. That's going to be it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the drill. And I'll see you at the next one. Peace.